I've, I've seen drug addiction and it has pretty much destroyed families. Don't give up. Don't ever do that. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. It brings me joy every single day just to help people. Pretty much, I can't put in words how much I appreciate her and how much I loved her. And she pretty much raised me as her own. Folks, we've seen a lot of videos about Appalachia lately, about joblessness, homelessness, drug addiction, and hopelessness. But it's not all like that here. And I thought maybe instead of an outsider coming in and doing a video of how awful it is, we'd do a video talking to a young man we know who has avoided those pit falls and is working hard to have a better life for himself and for a family in the future. So let's talk to a friend we made at a local grocery store we shop at. Hey folks, this is Sean. He works at a local supermarket and he's a hard working young man and he is everything that is not being shown in the videos about Appalachia. Uh, he works hard, he keeps his life straight, he's had some hard knocks, but he's, he's not let them destroy him. We're gonna to talk to Sean. We're close to where he grew up, right here in the little town of Harlan. I love Harlan County, you know. Uh, Harlan County gets a bad rep, I think, about pretty much all of Appalachia does. Yep. But Harlan County has really improved over the years, you know. It ain't all about the coal mines. It's nothing about that. You know, we got grocery store workers, restaurant workers, health care workers. All them workers are making a living. They love Harlan. You grew up not far from right here. Where not far at all. Only a couple feet away we have. And it's been my home from 2007 to 2018. I love this. This is my childhood home. I love this place from the moment I moved in here. And I have my most of my childhood memories are in this beautiful I place. It is. Not, but you're uh, 19 years old. Yep, just turned 19 in July, I did. And uh, I, I absolutely love this place, I did. And, you know, unfortunately, we had to move. But... This will always be my childhood home. I have some of the best memories in this house I do. I grew up in this house. It's where I made friends. This is my, technically my first memory of this house, of this home, is in this house it is. All these memories just flood back every single time I see this beautiful house. And all my memories are just in this house and I absolutely love it, I do. Uh, you was raised by your grandparents. Yep, you, I, was, I was raised by my mama and my papa I was. They were my pretty much my parents, they were. My mom, my mama was my mom. My papa was my second dad. He was my best friend. He raised me as his own. He wasn't my real papa, he was. He was my adopted papa, but in general, he was really my papa, my real papa he was blood you don't got to be blood to be a family pretty much and he raised me as his own he did he did not once call me his adopted grandson he was always my papa and he i was always his grandson i was and i thank him for raising me and becoming the man i am if it wasn't for my papa and mama i would not be here i wouldn't and my mama and papa always took care of me. They always made sure I was fed. They always loved me. And I always loved them. And I will love them forever, I will. And I can never repay pay them for everything they have done for me. Your mother had some issues. She had you yep. young. She had me really young, she did. But I still, I loved her. I do. And I forgive her for everything. And she had, she's had some hard times the past couple of years. But, you know, lately we know we've been uh, communicating a little bit better we have. And I still love her and I know she loves me and she will always be my, my mother, I will, and I will always love her. How long have you worked on the grocery store, Sean? I mean, you're- I have young. worked there since last, well, it's coming up on a year. I've been down there since, uh, I was started in September 28th of 2022 and September 28th of this month will be a full year down there. And I, I've been loving every single bit of it. It's no place I can't savor it, I ain't. You know, 
They've treated me nice. They've treated me like family. And I enjoy working down there. You meet some unique people down there, you do. And every every day is another adventure for me. It is down there. And I love every, every single bit of it I do. I really do. So you'd rather work than a, a layout not work? Oh, yeah, I would absolutely do that. I, I don't, you know, when I have my days off, you know, I, yeah, of course, I enjoy my day off. But I actually, I actually look like working, I do. And it's actually helped with my anxiety. Before I started my job, I had really bad anxiety. But it's actually has improved my anxiety. It's not as bad as it was. Yeah, I still have anxiety every once in a while. But I think it's going to be life. But otherwise i have actually improved since then and it's actually got better uh i had social anxiety um i had all that pretty much as anxiety is and it has improved 20 to 30 times better now i actually socialize with people i made a lot of friends down there i seen the opportunity to get a job and i was like you know yeah i have anxiety but i gotta overcome it i i have to do something and I was nervous my first day, but as the days and weeks and months went on, it got better and better. Working with people was so much better, and it has overcome my anxiety. And whoever has had doubts about getting a job because of their anxiety, go for it. You can absolutely do it. It's, it's, it's not your anxiety that's stopping you. It's your own mind. you got to get to your mind. You can do this. Don't give up. Don't ever do that. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. Would you say, would you say getting a job, uh, going out and getting a job was yep. so far the best decision you made in your life so Oh far? yes, 100%. And you, you will make friends down there. Even at first, you know, you get people who you work with you think is non, non-approachable and they, them are the best people that you can actually talk to. From there, you can do anything, I promise that. Well, let me ask you something, Sean. How do you feel about have you got any opinions anything you'd like to say about the drug crime we do have a drug problem but everywhere in america has one america has a drug problem everywhere does yes um my opinion on it is kind of a 50 50 i guess you could say it's sad because i work in the grocery store i experience people with drug issues coming there every day and i've known people with drug issues that has recovered and is doing a hundred times better, has been clean, and they are, are doing a good job. It ain't all about, Harlan is not all about a drug addiction. You could overcome drug addiction. Yeah, we do go to drug addiction in Harlan, but most of the people who has a drug issue can overcome it. We got jobs everywhere that you can overcome a drug a drug addiction. We got rehab centers, we got recovery, um, places and over time it our drug issue is rough i know that but my opinion on it is i believe in my heart that it will get better and i believe that i do and my first hand experience I've, I've i've seen drug addiction and it is pretty much destroyed families but i have known many people who has recovered from it and i believe in my heart that harlan will get better and the drug addiction will get better soon i hopefully and then she had her little issues she did and she went away she got better and now she's working completely full time and she's doing amazing she is and i'm very proud of her and she's wow. my good friend she is that's great that's great, that's great. and god bless her and we yep. wish her much success absolutely it breaks my heart to see people because I know how addiction is. Addiction's hard it is for people and you can overcome it but it's hard though. Yeah. It's, hard it's very hard it is and it takes time, you know. It you'll have setbacks in addiction, but I believe in my heart that people can recover from addiction and I've you know, I can't hard, I can't say nothing on an addiction because I've never had an alcohol drug addiction. I've never had the temptation of it. And I think it's the way my parent my grandparents raised me to not do that stuff. And I thank them every day for that. So, so you give credit to a good 
home environment yep. and being yep. raised by, by uh, yep. good moral folks that uh, steered you away from it. Yep. Absolutely. You know, if it wasn't for my grandparents, I don't know where I would be. I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. My mama and papa always took care of me. They always made sure that I was all right. They always checked up on me, you know. Every time I've had friends over, they always made sure that I was all right and they were all right. And they've always treated my friends as pretty much their own, they have. And I thank them from the bottom of my heart every day for that I do. And my parent, my grandparents, they were not the laid back parents, they, grandparents they were. They were a little hard on me, but they was pretty much tough love it was. They always told me not to do drugs, not to pretty much drink alcohol, all that good old stuff, and I never have. And they, my, my papa was my best friend. He took me fishing. I mean, it's countless memories of going fishing every single night with him, night fishing, catching fish. He always had me out of the house, he did. He never wanted me always, yeah, you know, I was in the house sometimes, but he always took me out fishing. You know, he spent time with me, and he wasn't my real, my, uh, real papa. He was my adopted papa. But he treated me as his own. Pretty much, he treated me like a son. He, he, My papa really was my grandpa. But he treated me like he was. I was pretty much his own father son. Father figure. Yep. And he was always the best person to me. He always. He always. Always made you laugh. Always made you smile. And I just appreciate everything he's done for me, you know. And I thank my mamma as well. I, it's un, pretty much, I can't put in words how much I appreciate her and how much I loved her. And she pretty much raised me as her own, she did. My mamma, in my, in my mind, I remember my mamma being my mom, pretty much. And she always loved me. She treated me as her own son, a pretty much son. And there's nothing I can repay my mama and papa and a my, strong, my parents. A strong family. Yes, you absolutely. Straight, and that's yep. raised you straight mm -hmm. now. Yep. Where, where, where do you see yourself 10 years from now, Sean? Oh, you know, I think about that a lot, I do. And in my mind, I see myself my, in my own apartment with my own family, hopefully, and a better, pretty much, understanding about life. Because I need to move forward, I do. You know, I'm doing good at Cass Saver. I'm doing really good there. I'm pretty much making money, I am. I'm working almost every single day. And hopefully, I, in my, in what, where I see myself in 10 years, hopefully with a beautiful family and a beautiful life. And one day, I hope that I can travel the world, I will. And But Harlem will always be my home. <sighs> In my, mind, in my memory, I don't believe I'm going to ever move from Harlan unless there's another opportunity for me and my family to make more money. Yes, absolutely, I will do that. But Harlan County will always be my home. As will. long as you can support, uh, as long yep. as you can support yourself yes. and your loved ones, absolutely. Uh, you're fine here. Absolutely. The only reason you would go. Yep. The only reason I would go is for better opportunities. But right now, I see myself living in Harlan probably until the day I die. You know, they always got that old saying, you'll never leave Harlan alive. Yep. And I hear a lot of people say that. But in my member, in my mind, I see myself probably never leaving Harlan, to be honest with you. Well, a lot of folks don't yep, leave, leave it, absolutely. Like, you don't leave Harlan because you love it. Nope, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Harlan has always been a little special area. It's our little small town, you know. You got unique areas in Harlan. You go, you, you meet, you meet a new unique people every single day when you work at a grocery store. Yeah, it brings me joy every single day, just to help people with simple things like doing carryouts for people, helping groceries into their car. It, it just it helps me knowing that they appreciate me doing that for them. It does. It really does. Absolutely. And like you said, there's a lot of other folks yep. like you, young yep. people, who are working yep. for a living. Some people have had problems, yep. but they've uh, uh, fit their way back and recovered. Yep. And, and, and they're doing well. Yep. And happy. Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's, it's... When, you know, if you come to Harlan, yeah, there's abandoned houses. There is 
screwed up areas, but you gotta look at the pretty side, Harlan. Harlan is a beautiful place to Absolutely. live. It is. Yep. I mean, yeah, look at the beautiful have. mountains. We got beautiful yep. areas. There's beautiful houses. There is. We got the dark side of Harlan, and you got the bright side of Harlan. You know, yeah, yep. we got drug addiction, but that's everywhere you go. Yep. You can go to any town, any city in America, and yep. there's gonna be a drug issue there. Yeah, Harlan's maybe a little bit worse in people's mind. Yep. But Harlan is actually a booming area. It yeah. is, and Harlan has struggled to yep. overcome its, its dependence yep. on the coal industry. Yep. And it is doing it slowly. Yep. It's doing it. Yep, absolutely, it is. And to me, Harlan's not all about coal mines. Like I said earlier, you got healthcare workers, restaurant workers, grocery store workers. You got new areas every single, new jobs every single day. Just yep. about you got Harlan County and, Beer you know, Company. Yeah, these they mountains too. These beautiful my papa, you know, he he's from Cleveland, he was. He actually moved to Harlan to make a better living, he did. And he grew up in Cleveland, but that's where he met my mama. And, and pretty much, you know, he made a living, he did. He was in the military, he was. And he fought hard, he did, to get where he's at, where he was at. And he improved every single day. And he actually moved, to, he, it was his choice to move to Harlan to make a better living. And he absolutely loved it. He had, and he called Harlan his home, he did. Even though he was from Cleveland, he called his home Harlan County, he did. Wow. Uh, awesome. Well, Sean, thank you so much for uh, sharing some of your time with thank us. You, thank you, thank you. And uh, telling us about what it's like working for a living. Yep, absolutely. In Appalachia. Absolutely. We appreciate you. You're a fine young man, and uh, I, I know you have a bright future. Yep, thank you very much. You. Thanks yeah. for sharing a little bit of what you think about your hometown thank with you, the rest of the world. You're very welcome. And uh, every day that I get to meet you guys, it's a wonderful day it is. And, oh, all, I, all, I, and all I say is like and subscribe and watch every <laughs> single video. This is the best YouTube, these oh. are the best YouTubers in Harlan County. You can't beat them. Oh, watch all their videos. Man. You listen to this young man right here. <laughs> listen to it. And what do we say at the end of these videos, folks? Bye. Bye. God bless you guys.